Welcome back, folks. This is Sunny again. Um, might have to upload this all on separate um, videos because while I was getting the food at Kinnicky's, um, it, it turned it off from pause to stop. So, humbug. Now, i um, giving you some local flavor today, not only in the food, but in the Pigeon English. So if you hear me using a different accent or what sounds like um, grammar that's so far from being correct, <laughs> or words that you're not used to, uh, I would try to remember to translate for you. Um, Anyhow, I got one heck of a mukbang for us to do. I got pork asantes. I got um, chicken katsu, which is Japanese in origin, and um, dairy beef. So, just um, like Oahu is called the gathering place, and just like that, our food is a wonderful jumble of all different ethnicities and we celebrate everybody over here I know in the mainland it's kind of like um, I've heard that people if you're not Irish you don't really necessarily get into celebrating um, St. Patty's Day for example just using it for an example over here we embrace all of our different nationalities. We celebrate the Okinawa Obon season. We celebrate Chinese New Year with each other. We celebrate everybody. So you put on a Greek festival down at Ala Moana Beach Park that is huge and wonderful. Um, and we celebrate each other's food. So that's why we have a huge percentage of obese people over here because the food's so darn good. And, um, yeah, well, the stigma of behind being obese is not like it is in the mainland. In the mainland, I notice now, um, I've been told that as the population in the mainland has gotten more overweight, that it is less socially acceptable to um, bully and mock the overweight people. But... Um, Oh, shucks. Now, Waimanalo Bay. Is that Bellows? No. Um, over here, it is totally unacceptable to mock obese uh, because everybody's got somebody my size in their family. And usually it's one of the older ones, and you're supposed to show respect. Over here, it is very, very much required to show respect to your elders. Um, really bad juju if you are texting to your grandma or your great grandma or even your mom. But especially the grandparents. Um, so yeah, um, and so since everybody's got overweight people in their family, sorry I had the air conditioner blowing so loud. Um, yeah, it's just not socially acceptable. And I remember, even when I was younger, and I was this big, um, if I was riding the bus, the kids, would, you wouldn't, they wouldn't even blink an eye when they got on the bus and saw me. It was like, now, you know, in places in the mainland, I'm sure there'd be lots of giggles and pointing and whispering, because I've seen it um, the few times that I have been in the mainland. I had a grown woman even one time go, oh my God, and grabbed her husband. She said, come here, you got to see this. And then she stood there with her mouth like that. And I was only about three feet away from her. And at that time, I had a really beautiful outfit on. I had all my jewelry on. I had my makeup on. And here she was. Her facial features were not anything that would have got her in a beauty pageant um, and yet she felt quite comfortable making me uncomfortable so you wouldn't have that happen over here um, so we're gonna go in the bellows let me see if I can find uh, 
spot to um, picnic table. And then I'm going to show you some of the beach. Love, love, love this beach. Now, at the beginning part of this beach, it's civilian. And then it turns into um, Air Force. So to go through the gate, I'd have to show my military ID, which is okay. I got it. Um, the military section is really fun. And it's really beautiful. They have little cabins right down on the water that you can rent for not all that bad. And you can fall to sleep listening to the ocean. They also got um, across the street from the cabins. They have um, places where you can pitch your tents. And it's just a really fun place. Um, I think I'm going to stop for a minute of talking. And I'm going to push the button and flip the screen so that you can watch. You'll hear my voice, but you'll get to see. Where is that? That, I can't see without my glasses. Oh, that's not the one thing I wanted. Okay. Well, maybe get a okay so that did not work I could not uh, turn the picture around so humbug okay we'll just go we're gonna just have fun anyhow another day I'll come and I'll have it only shooting it from um, you'll just hear my voice but I will point use the other side of the camera this is a problem when you're new to things, okay? You're going to have these glitches. It just does. Mm. So anyhow, we're almost there. Um, when my friend Alberta gets back from visiting her sister in California, hey, shout out to Angie and um, my her sister, who is my best friend. Her name is Alberta. And love her to pieces. Love her sister to pieces. And they're having fun. And I think next year I'm going to probably go and go to casino with them and have some fun. Maybe I can make some videos from California. Wouldn't that be great? I am so anxious to mukbang because this stuff is smelling so onolicious. Ono is another word for good. And like when you start to get hungry over here, a lot of times you'll people say, oh, I'm getting ono. That means I'm getting hungry. But it's the word we use for good. Now, I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any picnic tables. So I'm going to get my military ID card out. Basically, the military section just looks like a, better version of the civilian section. The civilian section doesn't really have getting out my military ID card. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, everybody's out. They're already pitching their camps, starting their fires. You know what? When I was young, I used to marinate um, chicken, raw chicken pieces in Catalina salad dressing, and we'd cook them out over the hibachi. Oh my goodness, was that ever, oh no. Yeah. But since I live in an apartment and we can't barbecue out, I can't do that anymore. Of course, Alberta lets me go over to her house. She's got a nice big gas um, barbecue grill. And she's got a nice pool. And Alberta, oh my goodness, listen up, girlfriend. I ordered myself a new swimming suit, and it should be here by the time you get home. So we're going to start exercising in your pool, okay? All righty. I'm so excited. I was looking at this one swimming suit the other day online, 
and it was like $80. And I'm thinking, like, I'm not going to pay $80 for a swimming suit. And I went back about three days later, and they had a thing that said, um, use coupon WW half for half off your whole order. So I'm thinking, well, that's pretty cool. Now I'm going in the gate, so I'm going to put you on pause. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, yeah, back to the story about my swimming suit. Um, so yeah, my $80 suit was going to come down to 39 something something. And I still was hesitant and didn't move forward in ordering it. So a couple days later, I go back and they had reduced all swimsuits by 30%. Plus, they still had the coupon. So I ended up getting the $80 suit for $19.99. Winner, winner. Okay, now I got to find myself a shady, there's their pet pet golf course, a shady picnic table. One of the things I got when I was at Target was um, a tripod so that I can put my cell phone on the tripod while we're doing the mukbang. Okay, now, wait a minute. They've changed things a little bit around here since I've been here. Oh, I see a picnic table over there. Hmm, I should have gone over there. Might have to turn around. I'm thinking I'll get my car stuck in the sand if I go down where we used to go. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm going to turn around. They have a nice subway. They got a gas station and they've got a little bit of an exchange. A little like a convenience store. But I saw some, I saw some picnic tables over here. I'm really nervous about going down into here though because I don't want to get my car stuck. But we'll give it a try. I'm going to be brave. I'm being brave. Oh, if you saw registered guest only, maybe I can just do the mukbang real quick and then leave. What do you think? I'm going to pull right here. I'm not going to go so far that I'm going to get my car stuck. And let's go do the mukbang. Unless you want me to do it in the car. Nah. Okay. Let me turn this off for a minute. Just pause so that I don't lose it like I did last time. And then I'll set up the tripod and then I'll do the mukbang and the haul all at one time, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna shoot some of the beach for you. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. I got my nifty hat keeping me out of the sun. It's got a little tail on it. I got my glam glasses on. I got one terribly ripped up container from the uh, tripod. This was by Gorilla Pod, and it's got flexible legs like this. And it does have a little doohickey that uh, lets you put your cell phone. So um, while I'm doing my, I may as well show you other things from Target was these nifty patriotic slippers. You guys call them flip-flops. We couldn't call them slippers. And I think that was $3. Ooh. Um, I got some beautiful wet and wild pink lipstick. I know they always do that. Um, that matches the lipsticks on my shirt today. That's pretty cool. That was, um, and I love Wet n Wild lipsticks, um, $2.09. 
And then these are cozies to put on our soda cans for the 4th of July. Yeehaw! Like we really need that. Oh my goodness, I've got a beautiful cardinal that just came to join me for the mukbang. These co uh, coolers were a dollar each. And then I needed a white extra eye brightening liner. And this is a light pink off white. And this is by Pixie. I don't know if you can see that. But this was marked down on clearance. Normally $5.49, it was $3.84. That's a bargain. And that's about all I got. Yep. So anyhow, let's have lunch, okay? First things first. I am a little bit of a germaphobe. Now, if you've ever watched Monk, let me take off my sunglasses. Then you can see me with just my reading glasses. Okay, um, if you've ever seen Monk, I'm not that bad. But I'm a little bit bad. I use so many of these wet wipes. And when I was working at Sears, um, my friends would make fun of me, but they would be the ones to come down with the flu, and I never was. So it was kind of worth taking being mocked because I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. So we're going to clean our hands. Okay, I'm going to open up the goodie bag. I'll have to hold it up for you because my phone is so precariously sitting on this thing that I don't want, what is this, shoyu. We call soy sauce, we call it shoyu over here. She didn't give me plenty. I don't have choke. <laughs> choke of anything means a lot or we say plenty. Like plenty, only plenty. Okay, so let's see. I certainly, oh yeah, I got my fork. Oh, another show you. Oh my goodness, what a lot of food. Now, I saw a girl yesterday, tiny little girl, probably all of 90 pounds. I saw her eat two big plate lunches on a mukbang. I don't know where she puts it. Okay, look at what I got here. And yes, the Cardinal is eyeing my rice. I have chicken katsu, which is a chicken cutlet that is breaded and fried. And then they cut it in strips, such as this. And you dip it in this katsu sauce, which is a ketchup-like sauce. Kind of a cross between ketchup and barbecue sauce and a little sweet. Then over here, we got the Required mac salad and we got pork casantes over here I don't know if you can see that and then we got terry beef wow now my husband could grind this no problem would you please back off I am not going to give you my rice until I'm pow pow means done and this little bird is got right up here not a foot away from me really really rude so let's see what they I haven't had Konecki's food in so many years mm. oh my goodness mm. um the pork is so tender, but it's not dry. It's so... Mm. They don't have many peas in it today. Of course, we got a bed of rice down here. Mm. That girl I was watching doing a mukbang, she poured shiraka, shirasha sauce all over everything. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Their mac salad is so, so good. Okay. 
Let me open up the katsu sauce. This is the katsu sauce. When we go zippies, their katsu sauce is not to my liking as much. And um, I usually put a little more sugar and, of course, me sugar. And um, I add ketchup too. Oh, these flies are horrendous. Okay, so here we go. You dip it in like that. Mm -hmm. Not bad. A little tough. Over here, it's common for us to eat rice with our fingers like that. Mmm. I would not recommend their chicken katsu. Zippy's has better chicken katsu than this. Yeah. I'm putting that on the side. This is pork quesantes. Mmm. Mmm. I was so hungry. Because it's almost 2 o'clock already. And all I had was toast this morning early. Before I took my husband to work. Oh, and you gotta have, you gotta have fruit punch. Either that or lily koi, which is passion fruit. Ah. Okay, let's try their dairy beef. Oh, they give you... They give you plenty. <laughs> and it's all juicy. <laughs> Do you hear that, Cardinal? Oh my God. It was like eating around my two dogs and they're staring at you. He's just like that. Mmm. Now the Terry beef is very good. Very salty. Always is so. Now when I make homemade Terry sauce myself, I use the low sodium shoyu. And um I put lily koi nectar in. Most people don't know to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. That's my um, shoyu chicken. Sorry. Terry beef, I would put pineapple juice in with my low sodium shoyu. Boy, I really need this rice. That's very salty. Mmm. Got to have some mac salad. Mac salad is the best. Mmm. So, um, yeah, pineapple, pineapple juice, low sodium shoyu. Um, I use the garlic that's in the tubes. I'll have to show you one day. It's in a clear plastic tube. You can get it in the produce section. It's all prepped for you. You just squeeze it out like toothpaste. So... I use that garlic and I use that ginger for my terry and just a little bit of um, sriracha sauce just a little bit he's a real talker I think he wants to be a uh, YouTube famous <laughs> I think I'm gonna fail at mukbang because even when I'm hungry, my appetite doesn't let me eat that much. I think the object of the game on mukbang is to eat a lot. <laughs> mm. 
If I start feeding you now, you're going to bug me through the whole thing. So, mm -hmm. I think I'm only going to eat the pork asantes. Mm. See the bits of pork that's slow cooked in the tomato paste and the peas. Lots of bay leaves. Mm. Comes out so onalicious. Please get down off the table. Hala. See, I'm already getting full, and I've only had a few bites, right? I don't know. Maybe my husband will eat the... I know he'll eat the Terry beef. He'll probably eat the chicken katsu, too. Maybe I don't have to cook tonight. <laughs> I am, like, getting so full already. I do want to eat the mac salad. Mm. Mm. Mac salad over here is so, oh, so good. We always use um, best foods mayonnaise. A little shredded carrot. A little bit of onion. Not a lot. Mm. I'm not really thrilled with the katsu. <sighs> Already full. Okay, I'm going to stop this. Did you know, all you people that need to lose weight with me, <laughs> did you realize that there's a hundred calories in one small little tablespoon of mayonnaise that's a lot of calories that's where a lot of my fat comes from okay I'm gonna pack this up hold on let's go look at the beach that's gonna be more fun I would say I get a D for this mukbang maybe I can practice and do better <sighs> Too bad you weren't here. You could help me eat this. I'm kind of picky. I'm sure other people would taste the chicken katsu and go, oh, that's really good. Let me have some fruit punch. I'm going to put you on pause and then I'm going to go across the street and show you the beach, okay? Alrighty. Bye. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I am in the car and I've decided that uh, since this is so long, it's 28 minutes and um, maybe you don't want to watch it all in one shebang. I'm going to turn this off and then I'll make three separate videos. The first one, that beginning portion that got cut off and um, this for the mukbang in the, um, in the hall. And um, then the third one will be the beach in Kailua. So I'm going to go drop off what's <laughs> remaining of the plate lunch, which is an extensive amount of food still yet there. I'm going to drop it off to Hubby, even though he had his lunch and it's 2.30. By the time I get to his work, it's going to be a quarter to three. But I know him. He like eat. <laughs> that man can eat and eat. I don't know where he puts it all. He's smaller than me. Let me turn this around. Anyhow, I love you very much. Please give my um, videos a thumb up if you had fun seeing some of the goofy things that I got into today. Um, I was a little bit confused yesterday because even though I knew I didn't do so, so good on my first one, I had like 45 views and only seven likes, and that didn't seem right. <laughs>
So please like it. <laughs> please like it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to see you in a little bit. I'm going to drive over there um, and then make a video for you of um, the beach. And I hope we have some really fun people out there to watch because some of the things they do out there is amazing. It makes me wish I could go back in time and have my skinny body back in 1988 when I was so, oh, I was so physically fit. It was crazy. And um, yeah, it makes me wish I was back in those days so I could learn how to do all those things. But now, especially after I broke my leg a few years ago, when you break a bone in a really bad way, you get a little nervous not to break any more bones after that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye. I love you all. And I hope you're having fun. Um, and even though I'm new to this and there's a lot of things that I need to learn and to get better at, I thank you for hanging in there with me while I'm learning them. So I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Bye. Mwah.